Hey guys, I'm Chip Speak. This is Chip Speak Camping and Outdoors. Here's a bit of a pocket dump video. You can see all the gear I carry. Obviously, I don't carry it all at once. But uh, this is pretty much the stuff I carry. Everything I usually have on my person at some point or another. And uh, I'll just kind of go over it one at a time. I'll leave links in the description. Um, some of the stuff I don't remember the name uh, by who makes it. But uh, I'll do my best. A lot of it uh, you get on Amazon. So we'll start up top with the hat. I believe this is from Condor. It's just a ripstop hat. It's got a low profile design. Um, you got hook and loop on the front, the top, and the back to add patches if you want. And then, um, obviously, I wear it a lot. But uh, another neat feature, it's just got black underneath the brim here to uh, cut down on glare. And then usually the patches I'm wearing, uh, I got my trail maintainer patch, my, uh, my trail name there, Mason Dixon Trail. There's trail maintainer, the um, Maryland flag patch, and then I've got this from Black Scout Survival. It's glow in the dark, made out of PVC. And then this from Bright Strike, got with my uh, Snug Pack MML3, I'm sorry, MML6 jacket. It's uh, mirrored, it's waterproof, it's got hook and loop on the back. And then, uh, so the day you can use it to signal since it's a high mirror finish. And then it's also got a light that can be seen up to a mile, I believe. Flashes, different flash patterns for signaling. So that's really neat from Bright Strike. Moving over, I've got a, a standard buff. Hammock Forms buff. Um, it's not a merino one. It's just made out of, uh, it's I believe it's polyester or something like that. It's real thin. It's stretchy. Um, a thousand and one uses for, you know, a buff like this. I, I usually wear it in place of a mask. Um, I wear it at work. I wear it everywhere. So having a buff is really good. Moving down, this is my, the belt I always wear. This is from Helicon Tex. It's their logo belt. It's really wide webbing. So it's real sturdy. It's got a nice hefty buckle on it with the Helicon Tex logo. The, the end here is brown leather. So it's got a real uh, elegant design. It's you know, dark green with the, with the brown leather. So that looks really nice with uh, you know anything you might wear. A pair of khakis, pair of jeans, doesn't matter. Um, these next two items are from Wazoo. This is their bush calf. Bush, cat, bush craft bracelet. Sorry, I'm tongue tied this morning. It's uh, made in a paracord style. It's got a uh, brown leather lace here instead of paracord. And then it's got a ferro rod on the end. And then uh, wrap it around your wrist and then close it in the, uh, the loop on the end here. I know they discontinued this one for a while, but I'm pretty sure they have some on the website now if you're interested in it. It's the uh, bush craft bracelet. And then the, the uh, Bushcraft necklace also. And again, this is brown leather around here. you got a fisherman's knot to adjust it. And then you've also got another ferro rod here and a, a piece of white ceramic as a striker. And then this really cool knot. Hopefully that shows up. But uh, it's a really cool knot on the end there to uh, keep it nice and snug. And then this will slide. You can slide it all the way down to the other end to give you room to use the striker on it. So again, those are from Wazoo. Moving on down to my watch. This is a Timex Gallatin in black and green. I got it from Amazon. Um, they don't have the black and green right now. They just have the uh, black and red, I believe. But you can find it anywhere online. This is a Timex Gallatin. It's a really uh, simple watch. Nothing fancy. Into glow. The uh, hands glow in the dark. It's got a green webbing NATO band on it with metal hardware. And then I also have this mini compass from Sun that fits right here on the watch band. And uh, this is a nice little compass because unlike most of your little button compasses, this outer ring rotates. It glows in the dark and it has an arrow up here on this corner so you can actually use it to take a bearing pretty much and um, you know you can use this to rotate and then keep the needle in the doghouse to uh, help you find your way with your most of your little button compasses um, you basically just give you a north south you know just a regular directional reading and you really can't use it to take a bearing but you've got you know 
all your degrees going around it and um, I've had it for about two years a year and a half now and uh, no bubbles in it at all it has started to uh, haze up a little bit on the outside from wearing it so much but I'm pretty sure I can clean that up and polish it and it'll be uh, nice and clear again this is from Sun so moving over the uh, wallet I use I don't use a wallet anymore I went with a money clip this is from Savage Spartan it's an RFID blocking money clip so you put all your cards and stuff like that in there obviously you got your money clip on the outside it's RFID blocking and then separate from that I added this is a uh, just a woven paracord piece here with a clip on the end and then this is a loop and I just looped it through the um, the money clip so I can keep my money my uh, wallet here secure inside my jeans and this is from Dango I believe and I'm pretty sure I got this on eBay if I'm not mistaken hopefully it'll show up but this is from Dango this part right here and then the the uh, the bottom parts from Savage Spartan here you've got just a regular curvy man for your ear you know wrap your cords around and then a small USB cord it's just you know a couple inches long it's nice to have you can fit it in the uh, the change pocket of your pants and uh, that we always have uh, a small charging cable red bic lighter I'm a smoker but I always use I always get my lighters in red just so they're more easily found and um, it's always good to have a a bic lighter on you other than that let's move over to this tray here um, I typically lose things a lot so I wanted a place on my dresser to keep all of my stuff so it wouldn't fall off and I had a place to uh, put it every night when I uh, dump my pockets this is uh, it's molded molded plastic so you've got 1776 here and it's raised it's got a nice lip going around the outside I got this off of Amazon I'm pretty sure so it's got a nice large surface that's textured that uh, when I come home and I dump my pockets I've got a place to put all my stuff on my dresser that way I know where it's always at and none of it's gonna get lost or you know anything like that two of the flashlights I carry usually what I'm carrying this is the EOS 3T it's a nice flashlight nice and small compact I've got a re a rechargeable a USB rechargeable battery in it and then I like this one because of the clip you can clips on both ways so you can clip it like down on your pocket of your pants or the top part here as you can see you can clip it like on the brim of your hat to uh, go hands free or whatever so that's a nice small compact light from Olight and then you can get just like a, a standard cheap pen light got two triple A's in there and surprisingly these things are really bright and they're cheap you can find them anywhere um, you can you know keep this in your pack in your car your truck wherever so sometimes I might carry that or I usually keep this in my vehicle a lot of times moving on down to uh, this pen I carry this is a Fisher space pen micro so it's nice and compact and I like it because not only does it you know it's small it writes in extremely cold temperatures and then the cap comes off and goes on to the the other end so it makes it into a like a full length pen and you've got just a clip on there nice and light right upside down obviously this is the Fisher Space Pen Micro moving on around to the knives I carry this one's from Gerber and this little thing is I've been beating the hell out of this at work I added a piece of reflective zingit and a split ring on the end and um, look at the the width of the blade on this knife it's absolutely crazy it's a little hard to open one-handed but when you do look at that blade that thing is huge you got two sharp edges one here on the bottom and then the front the uh, description online says the ones for cutting the ones for scraping but they're both equally sharp this is from Gerber I forget the exact name of it but like I said I'll keep a link in the description and you've got a nice clip on here that's really tight so you're not going to lose it. it is, the blade it locks in place and it is a little difficult to close 
without cutting yourself but it's stiff and that's good because it's not going to um once it's locked it is absolutely locked and you're not gonna it's not gonna come clo closed on your hand the knife that i carry most of the time this is from crkt it's a CR crkt squid it's really light it's thin doesn't weigh a lot you can open it with one hand it's got a nice edge on there there's a blade profile it's thinner at the edge there got some uh, jimping up here on the the top so you get really good purchase on this knife even though it's nice and tiny so your fingers can fit really fit in here and get a hold of it and I'd imagine even if you have a big hand you could still get a good grip on this knife and then the lock here it's a little bit easier to close than that small Gerber knife so that's the CRKT squid and then the other knife I have is a Swiss Army knife this is from Victoria Knox this is the one-handed trekker this is the uh, German military version so it's in an olive drab green and it has the uh, German Eagle on it so typical uh, one-handed trekker obviously it's very easy to open with one hand so you've got a nice large serrated blade here that you can uh, really get a hold of and open with one hand it's got an extremely extremely aggressive um, where is it saw on it if I can get it with one hand there's the saw I mean you could cut through uh, damn near anything with the saw that's on this and then you've got your standard uh, can opener bottle opener screwdriver or flathead screwdriver wire stripper on the front here and on the back you've got your uh, large Phillips head and then you've got your awl uh, right here and that's it there's no corkscrew there's no um, toothpick or tweezers you've just got your uh, a standard Victorian Knox with everything you need and nothing you don't and a really large easy to open blade here So that is the one-handed trekker from Victorian Knox and then the last item that I have here this is a leather belt sheath that I got off of Amazon I forget the name like I said I'll, again I'll put it in the description it's made out of brown leather so it, it goes with uh, you know all my other stuff I, I really like brown leather as opposed to you know black I like dark green so it matches the belt and my uh, my wallet everything else kind of have a, a brown and like a subdued theme nothing stands out but it doesn't look overly tactical or anything like that it's just thin leather I've had it for like two years now hasn't fallen apart it's riveted and sewn together and uh, you've got some belt loops here to pass your belt through and then what I keep in it is I keep the um, the O light right in here that clips in right here or you can actually you can fit a larger light in here if you wanted but I, the O lights fits nice and snug right in there this front part I keep the uh, Fisher space pen and then I either keep the my Swiss Army knife or I keep my multi-tool which is just a cheap one from Walmart it's made by Sheffield um, I've had this for many many years you can see it's dirty in there not the cleanest I beat the hell out of it and um, it, it hasn't fallen apart so other than it being a little, little on the heavy side it's got your standard multi-tool uh, tools in it and that also will fit inside of this sheath here um, I do have the uh, a sheath for this from Victoria Knox it's made out of uh, green it's made out of leather that's dyed dyed green and it's specifically for this style size knife but I uh, can't find it <laughs> so I would have that but that's that so that's my my EDC what I usually carry um, I've always I might not have you know everything on my person at one time but I always have my watch on me I never take my necklace off if I'm going out of the house I have my hat on I always wear a belt and I always have this knife here and my lighter I might not have anything else on me but I've got my hat my belt 
my watch and one of the knives and then uh, my necklace there everything else I uh, I move in and out you know according to whether I'm going you know to work whether I'm going just running out to the store if I'm gonna be outside if I'm gonna be inside you know depending on where I'm at what I'm doing I'll uh, trade in different tools and stuff but I've always got those core items on me to uh, take care of business if needed so that's my everyday carry um, if you guys have any questions just let me know I'll give you a close-up of everything here my really well-worn hat I'm pretty sure this is from Condor but I could be wrong it is made in the USA I know that matters it matters to me these patches are made out of ripstop as well and the cool feature of these is this is glow-in-the-dark thread so that white thread glows in the dark as well as like I said earlier this from Black Scout Survival and it's also got velcro on the back so it does the bright strike so everything is subdued it's not overly tactical you know I, I don't look like uh, some bush man walking through the store I just look like your normal guy you know you, you wouldn't really know that I had any of this on me or if I had uh, a specific purpose here's the buff had this buff for a long time the belt I love this belt I lo I've also got a black riggers belt but I don't typically wear that a lot it's just got too much of a tactical look that I try not to go for I try to avoid that but this other stuff just looks like what normal things that everybody wears and uh, these ferro rods really do work so there's the Timex Gallatin Expedition And again, this is a RFID blocking money clip here, card holder. This is a elastic band right here. So you can, uh, it opens up and it provides tension to keep your stuff in. And then this clip is from Dango, this uh, paracord here. Got the curvy man. It's a neat little item. You can keep it in your keychain. And then with uh, modern electronics, and it's really good to have just a small USB cord. How many times have you needed to charge your phone and uh, not had a cord? Put this knife in here so you can see what it looks like. There's the uh, the holster. Nice and thin. So it doesn't imprint much at all when uh, you have a shirt over top of it. It's got a nice brown leather. So it's got that elegant look to it. Doesn't look really, does it's not cheap at all. And it's held up really, really well. CRKT squid and then the little beast here I don't know how you could break this and that's from Gerber and then the Sheffield multi-tool And then uh, I'll move everything off so you can see here is the tray that I keep on my dresser and where all of this stuff lives at night.
it's uh, super durable. So that's my EDC, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you carry. Anything that you think I can add that might help me out. Any uh, any questions? Any comments? If you want to know where I got it all, if I can't, uh, if I don't remember where it's at, and you want to know specifically what something is, you know, shoot me a shoot me a question. I don't mind at all. Um, but I've been wanting to do this video for a while, so here's my EDC. And I'm Chesapeake. I'll talk to you guys next time. A ceremonial ceremonial shot of the bay. Sorry this video is so long, but I really wanted to do a, an in-depth look at all this stuff. It's important. See you guys next time.